a slow day today because I had a late night last night and I'm just feeling a bit tired, just a little bit uh, like alcohol is surging through. So there isn't a great deal more I need to actually say on this. There's a lot of videos out there, but this is Grumpy at 40. I need to do my own stuff. So let's, uh, let's look sprightly. It's today's episode. Oh, well, that's bullshit. shit. No, I've had enough now. <laughs> oh, grumpy at 40. The topic of today's episode is Instagram comedians. And, and comedians, I don't do this. But if I was to do this, then I'd probably do this. Instagram comedians. They're not fucking comedians. And I'll tell you what, there are pr chief, prime, prime chief examples of who is the worst. King Batch, uh, Lele Pons. And, and the ones who hang around with those, Amanda Kearney, Cerny, Kearney, whatever, they're all shite. The comedy is based on, oh, my girlfriend, I, I'm doing something that my girlfriend disagrees with. My girlfriend is going to tempt me with tits. Oh, that's it. That's the end of the joke. No joke? Interesting choice of letters to describe what that is. It's not, certainly not a fucking joke. The next instance of what they do and what they, how they play the Instagram com comedy game. A girlfriend is suspicious about her boyfriend's behavior. The boyfriend proves it, but in a malicious way, and uh, he either gets found out or doesn't get found out. Joke! No. No, 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 no. The person I once was on Vine, attempting to make some a joke, a new type of joke each time. And the people I know, the people I hang around with, in socially transmitted comedy, we would go and say, "No, that joke's that joke's been done once. Sometimes it's like that joke's been done once. Therefore, I won't do it." All of these go, "No, that joke's been done about three thousand times. It worked all those three thousand times. So let's do it three thousand and one more time." It's knackers. It's absolute knackers. It doesn't seem fair. It doesn't seem right that these people are getting the views. But let's say, okay, let's say that all oh, those people haven't got a clue. They don't know what other people exist. All the Viewers don't know what else exists, so why should they tune into those? That is where the problem is. There is a, it, the category itself only plays this daft bollock. So if that's all you're watching and listening to, because that's all you're aware of, that's all you're gonna get. So who is the real villain here? Is it the wankers who are filming themselves doing the same joke and making so much fucking money it makes people like me wanna like cough blood? Or is it, Instagram, an Instagram with uh, millions and millions of pounds um, and dollars um, allowing this to happen. It's the wankers that are filming it, isn't it? That's right, viewers, because they have a choice to say, you know what, I want to be remembered, I want a legacy. I want a legacy to, to remember me by. My legacy is this particular brand of comedy. And what they have is a particular brand of shite, of course. I begrudge actually going and searching out, it, by the way it wouldn't be hard to search out, but I begrudge going to actually go and pick one up, put one in the video and doing this. First of all, I'm not, I don't want to review them, but second, I wouldn't be able to just go, see, that, what, without it wanting to make me smash this computer over my face. Some tropes that they have in their Instagram comedy videos are the bars at the top and the bottom that say what's going on. There are these sound effects. There's like a noise that goes and it's, I don't know how to describe it, but that is always used when there is a shock moment in the, you know, the, tur the twist. Here's something else I hate. They will <laughs> go up to the end of a scene and cut off a sentence, it's usually a swear word. So it can like they're about to say fuck, but it just gets to the F or something like that. I hate it seems like continuity errors are, are ha there has to be something that's that's not quite right, like camera angle is wrong. Quite a few years ago I studied film, I have a, a degree in film studies. Very, very early on, it could even be the first lecture we went to or the first semester at least, we, we sat in a circle and we learned about where cameras will be positioned at different points in a conversation to allow the viewer to see what was going on and make it make, it make sense. Not a single person in Instagram comedy observes that, that 
I would say it's a law. It's disappointing that when I type in comedy, I know I have to search some distance before I actually get something that's funny. I wouldn't be doing this if I didn't think that I could at least, uh, 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 that I didn't have a gag here or there. If they get like three million views, I get two million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety three views less than that, and I don't think that that is representative. And that's a different problem, though, isn't it? That's just the fact that I have no idea how to do social media. I'm still drunk. Can't remember where we started. Uh, was it about it's Instagram? Wasn't it Instagram comedy? Over it down. Instagram comedy, oh yeah. I think I, did. I, think I mentioned that. Have I, have I told you about Instagram comedy? I'm looking shite. I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna go, tonight of course is Towie is being shown, so tomorrow I'll be doing a Drumpet 40 all about Towie and see what, what gubbins that produces. Good night, bye bye. Oh, that's bloody shit. No, I've had enough now. <laughs> oh, grumpy at 40.